Good morning everyone. Jill here with North Texas Vegetable Gardening, canning, recipes, a little bit of everything. 2018 canning season has officially begun. We got a lot of work to do today, but we're excited about it. Garden is doing fantastic. That three inches of rain we got last week has helped tremendously. So today what we're gonna get started on is we are gonna pick our turnips and we are gonna can turnip greens and we're gonna try to go ahead and can some Swiss chard and we are going to um, gather our spinach as well. And we might can some of it or we might freeze it. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet, but stay tuned, we'll show you. Wanna give you a quick uh, view of how the garden's doing this morning. Man, everything is just looking great. So blessed, I feel so blessed today. It's still quite muddy in there. I will be able to get in there, but it's gonna be a barefoot and gardening day. I'm not gonna be able to get in there with uh, my shoes on or my flip-flops because I will sink. And uh, I tend to do better when it's wet like this, walking barefoot, and because uh, I don't sink and it doesn't stick to my feet as bad as it does my shoes. Okay, I have my two buckets full of water here. These is what I'm gonna use to wash the turnips and the turnip greens as I pull them up. It's awfully muddy and Frankly, it's just too messy to take it in and try to do it in the kitchen sink. I just have a standard size kitchen sink, so this is, uh, this is my go-to. Let's get started. As I get started here, I'm gonna be real careful because I have lots of ladybugs in my greens. They love these greens, and so when I pull them up, um, I'm gonna be sure and uh, remove them and put them over on the lettuces so that they'll have a new home. I, I don't want to get rid of them, and I certainly don't wanna drown them as I'm washing my greens. Look how beautiful. See all that mud that's on there? This is something I don't, really don't want in my kitchen. I'm only gonna pick the ones that are ready to pick right now. I wanna shake them a bit, make sure there's no ladybugs on them. That one's coming out pretty clean. are looking beautiful. Some of them are going to need to stay in the ground a little bit longer, and I'm perfectly fine with that because that just gives me more time to enjoy them. Once I pull some of these up, I'm going to make room for the other ones to start growing. See, you can see that one didn't have enough room. I'm going to let them soak a little bit here in my first batch of water, and then I'm going to transfer them over to my second batch of water, and then I will wash them one more time once I get them inside right before I can them. You can see I made a pretty good dent in them, thinned them out quite a bit, but that leaves me more room for what else I see uh, coming up in there. So I'll have turnips and be enjoying them probably another couple of weeks. Okay, I've got them soaking. Now I'm going to start pulling the leaves of the ones that I want to can. This one doesn't look so good, so I'm gonna put that over here in my compost little pile. Look how beautiful that turnip is. So this is a time-consuming process, but it is so well worth it. When we start to canning, it's gonna take us probably about 90 minutes to can these. We're gonna wilt them down. You can even freeze them. It depends on whatever your preference is. We're gonna can them so that we'll have them for longevity, but uh, the spinach, we're probably gonna freeze. It depends on how much I'm able to harvest today. We may can some, I just don't know yet. Again, we're gonna wash them three times. I'm gonna, I washed them in here to get the initial dirt and mud off of them. And, and I'm putting them in my second bucket over here. And then I'll wash them one more time right before I can them. Trim them up maybe a little bit more too. But right now I'm just doing the first walk through. I don't know about y'all, but I think I got me a good looking bucket of greens here. You can see over there in my other bucket, that's just the turnips left over. I'm gonna let them soak a little bit, take them in, get them ready. I might do some canning on those today too. Turnips only take about 30, 35 minutes at about 11 pounds pressure. And the, and the turnip greens and uh, the Swiss chard that we're gonna try to do today takes about 90 minutes at about 11 to 12 pounds pressure. See here? Got some good greens going. I'll let them soak a little bit and I'll take them in the house, give them one final wash, 
And then we're going to head on over to the spinach. See this little bug? This is why you want to make sure and wash them several times. Those things hang on. Here's my reject pile. I take this and put it over in my compost bin. There's the after effects of the water. You can see the first one got all, all of the mud and most of the bugs and just the little sediment. Here's the second wash. And now here is my harvest that I'm gonna get ready to go in there and can. Stove's gonna be busy today. I'm gonna to kick on uh, my water and my pressure counter to get it to go ahead and start heating up. This may look like a lot of greens, but it's not. These will really cook down and I might get two to three pints out of it, but we'll see. Okay, now it's time to get in there and start clipping some of this Swiss chard back. And what Swiss chard is, it, it's the greens from my beets. Now I'm not gonna pull my beets up because they're not ready, but I am gonna clip some of this, uh, some of the greens off of it so I can can them at the same time I'm canning my turnip greens. Um, try to make the best of our time since it is such a long process. So let's get started. We're going to do the same thing. I've got uh, both my buckets filled with water. I'll go into the first one and then uh, rinse it the second time and the second one and then I'll rinse them again right before I can them. These are not going to be near as messy as the turnip greens since I'm not pulling up the beets because they're not going to have the mud and the dirt with them. Look how beautiful these greens are. So excited. Make sure I don't have none of my little ladybugs on them. See how pretty these greens are? You really don't want to waste anything in your garden. We try not to. You know, this is so much that we possibly couldn't eat it in a week or even two weeks. So that's why it's important to take advantage of what you have and can it while you can. Last year in some of my videos, you can probably go back and see where I canned just one jar of jalapenos. We try not to let anything go to waste. It's wash, rinse, and repeat. That's what we're doing this morning. Okay, we got it loaded up. I'm gonna let them soak for a bit, then I'll put them into the second tub. Okay, you can see the first batch of water isn't nearly as dirty as it was when I put the turnips in there. It's just a little bit of dirt and sediment down in there. And now we've got it in our second rinse. You can see I put quite a dent in my greens. But you know what's going to happen? Is since I've done that, it's going to free up some more growth, some more sunshine, some more rain maybe this week. And these things will rebound and I'll be able to can some more greens here probably in the next week or two. You can see the second batch was much cleaner, so uh, the third batch, when I wash them in the sink in the house before I can them, should take care of everything else. Now you all may be thinking that this looks like a whole heck of a lot of greens, but you know what, when these cook down, I'll be surprised if I do get the full seven uh, pints that I'm sterilizing right now. But let's talk about why I'm canning these greens and why they're so important. Greens are considered a superfood. They are full of vitamin K, vitamin C, potassium, magnesium, and of course mine um, are non-GMO and they uh, do not have any insecticides or herbicides on them, so that's an added bonus. Let's get started on our canning. I got my jar sterilized. Um, you know, it depends on who you watch and who you listen to as to whether you need to sterilize them or not when you're going to do a long canning process or pressure canning, but I do um, like to go ahead and sterilize them ahead of time. I do wash them and then I do put them in a boiling water bath and then I'll pack them and then I'll pressure cook. It's very busy on the stove right now. I've got my lids heating up. You do not want to bring them to boiling. You just want them in some hot water, enough to make them uh, ready when you put on that they'll seal real tight when they're going into the pressure cooker. I have my tongs in there, which is what I'm gonna use to pull my leafy greens out of my pot. Okay, it's time to start cooking my greens down. I'm going to put in about three quarter cups of water in my pan, and I'm using a deep pan, and we're going to add our greens slowly. Okay, it's time to start adding my greens to my water. I just put a little bit of water in there because the greens will generate their own. Here we go. 
We just want to wilt them down. We do not want to cook them because the pressure canning process will cook them all they need to be cooked. Got our first batch in there and as they start to wilt down, we'll add our second batch. Last batch that I'm cooking down, I haven't removed any from the pot. I'm just letting them all cook down together. Went through and picked out some of the larger stems. Did a last pick through and I uh, got what I thought I wanted. So this will go to Miss Chicken. I just turned them with my tongs. You can see that the ones from the bottom are starting to look really wilty and that's how we want the rest of them to look before we put them in our jars. See, looky there, those three large stainless steel bowls of greens have cooked down to this. Okay, we're done letting them cook down. It's time to put them in our jars. You know what, I may not need this funnel since I have the wide mouth jars. I like the wide mouth jars because it's so much easier to pack. We want to leave about one inch head space. Put one more in there. And I kept mine long and leafy because that's what I like. A lot of people may take the time to chop it up. I'm not going to, this is just as convenient for me. Again, I did uh, wash and sterilize my jars. That's just the way I am. I want to make sure I've taken every precaution necessary to ensure the safety. Be sure and read your uh, pressure canning instruction booklet before you start this. Know your altitude, because that's going to have an effect on what poundage you use while you're pressure canning. Man, oh man, these are going to be absolutely delicious. Now what we'll do when I, after I can these is we will of course put them in our pantry. But when we go to eat them, what we'll do is we'll fry up a couple of pieces of bacon. And once those are done, we'll saute some onions and some garlic. And then we'll add our greens to that, and it makes for a delicious, delicious vegetable. Okay, you can see I've got my jars packed, and now I'm going to put a half a teaspoon of pickling salt. You don't want to use table salt because it has iodine in it. to seal up these three jars. First you want to wipe your rims. Make sure there's no debris because you want a good seal. Shouldn't be anything on them after I've washed them and sterilized them, but you never know. Now we're going to put our bands on and you want to tighten them to hand tight. You want to be sure and use new uh, lids. You can reuse your bands if you make sure there's no rust on the inside of them. It's very important. You don't want any air getting inside of your jars. So now we're gonna put these in the, in the pressure canner in the hot water and I'm gonna get my uh, Swiss chard ready and these will be fine in the, in the canner waiting on the Swiss chard. It's not gonna take me very long. Now I'm going to repeat the same process I just did with the greens. I'm going to do the Swiss chard the very same way. Swiss chard cooked down pretty quick, so now we're going to get to canning. We just got it wilted. Again, we don't want to cook it fully because the pressure canning process will cook it just fine. I may or may not get three pints out of that big bunch of greens, but I'll take what I can get, that's for sure. Remember, leave about a half inch head space. We'll do these the very same way. Whenever we go to eat them, we'll uh, cook up a couple of pieces of bacon, saute some lemon and garlic. Any other seasonings you may like or your family may like, you know, feel free to add to it. Um, this, this is like spinach, you know, you can, you can dress it up really nice. And this is rich in vitamins. And it looks like the seven pints that I had set out is going to be exactly perfect for everything that I picked. We are getting down to the bottom of it.
Look at there. Perfect. I'm going to add a little bit of the water here. Rich, rich, rich in vitamins and nutrients. Again, vitamin K, antioxidants, vitamin C, magnesium, potassium. Ooh. I didn't uh, have the video on when I did this earlier, but you want to go ahead and push it down and try to get all the air bubbles out. It's very important. And then we're going to add our half a teaspoon of pickling salt. Wipe down the rims to make sure there's nothing that's going to prohibit that lid from sealing. And tighten your lids. Now it's time to go in the canner. We are ready to rock and roll here. Let's get the lid on. Okay, we have all our jars in there and we've got the lid on. We've got our temperature on high. We have got to wait for this to steam, and once it starts steaming, we gotta wait 10 minutes to be sure all the pressure is out. So once this starts steaming, I'm gonna set my timer for 10 minutes. Got us a hearty steam going. I'm gonna set the timer now for 10 minutes. We want this to steam completely for 10 minutes. 10 minutes has come and gone. Now it's time to put the weight. Now we're gonna wait for this to get up to about 11 pounds. Once it gets to 11 pounds, our cooking time up to 90 minutes starts. Okay guys, we're there. Now I'm gonna turn down my heat to about five on my burner. I can usually sit between four and five and maintain my pressure. This is not something you wanna walk away from and just let go. This is something you need to check often. And I mean like every five to 10 minutes, you wanna make sure that your pressure is not getting out of control. I have my timer set to an hour and a half because that's how long it's going to take. I'm so excited. We got uh, seven pints in there. We have four pints of our uh, turnip greens and we have three pints of our Swiss chard. So in all, we have seven pints of greens for the season so far. More to come. We are sitting comfortably at 11 pounds and I've got uh, the burner on four. I can relax a little bit now. Whew. We've maintained 11 pounds for almost 30 minutes, and guess what? A watch pot does boil. <laughs> Woo! Okay, everybody, getting ready to call it a day. Been hard at it since about 9 o'clock this morning. Harvested my greens. It's kind of bittersweet when you start uh, harvesting your goods because you know that you're getting down to where it's gonna start producing, especially the greens, because it's starting to get hot. It's 93 degrees right now. So, um, my canning is finishing up in there. I got about 15 more minutes on the pressure canner for my greens. Um, like I said, it's kind of bittersweet because it's not gonna be here for very much longer and so I'm not gonna get to see its, its beautiful growth going on, but you know what? I'll start planting it again sometime in uh, September to come back up in the winter time and then I'll plant it again for the spring. So those are kind of almost year round for me. The, the months I can't grow it are in the summer months. Um, even though it's 93 degrees today, still predicting that we're going to have a cooler than normal summer. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. We've had a very busy, busy day canning. Um, and picking and harvesting and it's such a great feeling. I'm exhausted. Work week's fixing to start back up. So um, I'm gonna go in there and I'll finish up uh, pulling out my greens from the pressure canner and let them sit 
and I'm gonna cook me some dinner and I'm gonna bed down. I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for your prayers. They really do help. I'm looking forward to seeing some of your videos on your gardens. Um, let's support each other. And uh, if you're not already a subscriber to our channel, you need to go click that subscribe button and click the little bell and you'll start getting notifications of when I post a new video. It's fixing to get hot and heavy and busy in the harvesting season. The 2018 canning season has officially begun, folks. Um, it looks good, doesn't it? I feel very accomplished and very proud. Still lots more work to go. I pruned back some of the tomato plants. I got in there and did some weed pulling. Had to do it barefooted because I can't get in there with my shoes. It's still very wet, but I'm thankful for it. It's not going to need watering for probably till uh, Wednesday. We're expecting some rain next weekend, which I hope we do get. Anyway, thank you. Thank you all. Uh, again, looking forward to seeing all of your progress. Take care, God bless, and rest for the rest of your weekend.